In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, an extraordinary year in terms of space travel. Blue Origin sends another six Americans to the edge of space. The Saturday morning launch marked the 13th human spaceflight mission this year, more than any other year in history. Saturday marked Blue Origin's third launch with a crew. The journey lasted 10 minutes and 13 seconds, and it was a ride of a lifetime. The daughter of legendary astronaut Alan Shepard was on board the flight, along with NFL star and broadcaster Michael Strahan. It was a, a mind trip when all of a sudden you feel your body go like this and you want to do a belt and you're floating and then you're back in a belt and you're back on Earth. I'm going to sit at work tomorrow and go, did I just go to space yesterday? I want to be floating again. Yeah, yeah I want to be floating again. You want more of it. Laura Shepard Crunchley was only 12 years old when her father, Alan Shepard, made his historical suborbital flight, becoming the first American in space. She said that her journey aboard New Shepard, which was named after her father, was a long time coming and allowed her to experience a little bit of his adventures. Way back when, in 61, I was grateful that I had been a girl because I don't know how I would have followed in daddy's footsteps. So I finally did it. It was wonderful. The passengers passed the Carmen Line, an internationally recognized boundary of space and experienced about three minutes of weightlessness before the capsule made a parachuted landing back on Earth. Reusability is at the core of Blue Origin space strategy and this was the fifth flight for this vehicle. What an amazing connection to spaceflight history and family, right? Well, upon landing, the passengers celebrated with champagne and hugs from their family and loved ones. 